Hi guys, welcome back to Future Lang's Grammar Lessons with me, Teacher Ollie. Today, we will look at the passive voice with modals. Are you ready? Let's do this. There are nine modal verbs in English. Let's take a look. And here is the structure of modals in active and passive. For the active voice, we have subject plus modals plus verb infinitive. For example, they may build a new bridge. And for the passive voice, we have Subject plus modals plus B plus the past participle. For example, a new bridge may be built. As you know, we use the passive voice when the agent of the action is not known or not important. If the agent is known, it can be indicated with a phrase starting with by. For example, a new bridge may be built by the local people. And now, I will help you convert from active voice to passive voice with modals. Are you ready? Let's do this. When rewriting active sentences in the passive, we need to be careful of a few things. 1. The object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence. 2. The verb is changed from modal plus the infinitive to modals plus be plus past participle. And three, the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive sentence or is dropped. Let's look at an example sentence. The students must follow the instruction strictly. So, in this active sentence, we have the students are the subject. Must follow is modal plus verb. And the instruction is the object. Now, let's convert this into the passive voice. The object, the instruction, will be the subject in the passive voice. We change must follow to must be followed. And the noun, the students, is an agent. So we will turn it into the object of the passive sentence and it will follow by. And this gives us the passive voice sentence. The instruction must be followed strictly by the students. And remember, by object always comes before the adverb of time and after the adverbs of place. Well done students, I hope you got some good notes. Now let's practice with some more sentences to fully understand. Active voice, very young children shouldn't eat sugary foods. And the passive voice, sugary foods shouldn't be eaten by young children. Active voice, 
they should give men and women equal rights to education and employment. Passive voice. Men and women should be given equal rights to education and employment. Active voice. Scientists will discover a planet similar to Earth. Passive voice. A planet similar to Earth will be discovered by scientists. Active voice. The Vietnamese government will make more progress in gender equality. Passive voice. More progress in gender equality will be made by the Vietnamese government. Active voice. They might give my mother an award. Passive voice. My mother might be given an award. And that's it for our lesson today, guys. Fantastic work. I hope you had fun. Remember, keep practicing at home, keep doing your exercises, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.